All this speaks to a pattern of behavior that demonstrates that the ADL is mired in leftist ideology, in which it has bought into the BLM agenda of equity as opposed to equality. By emphasizing ideas about race and privilege, even though doing so gives a boost to the lies about Israel being an apartheid state, this undermines the interests and security of the people they're supposed to be standing up for. That's a scandal that illustrates how a once vital group has betrayed its mission. But it's also an illustration of how woke ideas like CRT can act as a toxic influence subverting institutions including, I might add, the federal government under President Joe Biden, which has embraced the equity agenda, to the point where they become complicit in racism rather than combating it. This also means that if the ADL is to retain even a sliver of credibility, it will require more than a pro forma review about misaligned lesson plans. It's going to take a complete overhaul and a purge of the woke leftism that now permeates almost everything it says and does. The only way to begin that effort is to fire Jonathan Greenblatt. Anything less than that will be a further betrayal of the organization's responsibilities to speak up for its founding principles and mission. <laughs>